Hello everyone, my name is Gabby and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super Review. This time we're reviewing episode 25. Goku is transformed, but Frieza doesn't look phased. Goku realizes it's because he too has gotten a lot stronger from his training. He tells Frieza to show us the fruits of his training, which Frieza happily obliges. Frieza transforms, what a surprise, into a form that looks quite similar to his final form, except that he's completely golden. You can call me Golden Frieza, he says. So the two start fighting, and it looks like Frieza actually has the upper hand. Beerus and Whis arrive in the battlefield, but they're just here to eat parfait. But if Goku is outmatched in terms of power, what's going to happen next? So what did I like about this episode? Well, of course, for one thing, of almost as usual, there were a lot of nice character interactions in this episode. We had things like a lot of Jaco and Bulma, and we had Beerus and Whis, and surprisingly, Shampa and Valo showing up for a surprise appearance here. Sort of like an early bird cameo, because they are going to show up in really only a few weeks from now. So I guess they're just here to try and familiarize the audience with them, or at least give them a little sneak peek, so when they show up it's not completely out of the blue. It feels nice that they're trying to sort of set up the Universe 6 tournament before it actually arrives a few weeks later. So it feels like it's going to be a bit less out of the blue, and it feels like that it's sort of more connected to the previous events. Now that I think about it, the anime has a habit of doing stuff like this. For example, like when they they first introduced Ten Shin Han and Chao Tzu in a, in a filler episode about the Inno Shikat show way before they actually showed up in the 22nd Budokai. So it's, this is sort of part of the course for them. And people were saying that the animation was really bad in this episode, but I honestly didn't see it. I thought the animation was pretty good, some strange off shots notwithstanding. And it feels like in comparison to the movie, this episode really tried to more sort of cement the fact that Golden Freezer is actually stronger than Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. It's not, whereas in the movie they felt a bit more equally matched, but here it was more just, it was a lot more like, yeah, Freezer is actually stronger than Goku, he's actually beating Goku right now. And that will better fit in with some of the things that happened to Freezer on later on in the arc. As for what I didn't like about this episode, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I think there are almost too many character interactions in this episode, and just not enough fighting. It kind of felt like in this episode, it felt like the Goku and Golden Freezer fight was just sort of the B plot, whereas the A plot was just Beerus and Whis eating parfait, and, and like Bulma and Jaco interacting and talking. And I don't have a problem with character interactions. Character interactions are fine, and I love them. But they're really not the selling point of this series. That's not why people watch Dragon Ball. They watch Dragon Ball for the fights. And if you're not going to have that much fighting in a show about fighting, what is this series even going to be? I mean, having too many character interactions in of itself is kind of a problem. For one, it almost feels like they're kind of almost ruining Jaco with filler. We're basically having like filler Jaco. Like you know you have like filler Chi Chi and filler Goku. Well now we're having filler Jaco. The Jaco who's just like he's not even just a you know a bit of a bit of a got a bit of a self-preservation instinct, but he's just like a complete coward and he's just like butting in all the time and I'm just like, no, just just tone down the Jaco. There is too much of a good thing right now. Just tone it down. And the other problem with having so many character interactions is you kind of sort of forget about the fight that's going on. And that's a bad thing because after all, we're this episode was trying to explain that Golden Frieza is stronger than Goku right now and Goku is in danger. But at this point no one really cares because we've seen so little of it. It seems like all of our attention is focused on Jaco and Bulma and Beerus and Whis and everyone and it's not focused on the fight and we don't care. We don't care that Freezer is stronger than Goku because the plot is giving so little attention to it. As for next episode, even if Freezer is stronger than Goku, there's no way Goku is going to give up the battle now. Is he going to keep fighting? How is he going to win? Are everyone, are the characters even going to care about what's going on? I don't know. We'll see. In two weeks. We've got a week break. So, great cliffhanger to end it on, right guys? So that was Dragon Ball Super episode 25. It was alright, but I think there was a bit of wasted potential there. I mean, this is one of the biggest parts of the Golden Freezer and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku fight, but it felt like the episode itself wasn't actually concerned with the fight itself and tried to put as little fighting as possible, instead focusing on a whole bunch of other character interactions and cameos and stuff like that. Honestly, I think part of the reason why there were so many character interactions was because it was easier to animate, and they probably wanted to do that other than just like trying to bend over backwards and making the entire episode a fight scene, but also having the fight scene look awful. 
because there were some nice shots in this episode and maybe that was partly because there was so little fighting in the first place. Say what you want about Dragon Ball Super, but I think everyone's starting to realise it's a very rushed production and that's really limiting what the animators can do. Whether Universe 6 suffers some of the same problems that are plaguing some of the Dragon Ball Super arcs right now? I don't know. Hopefully they will be giving people more time to work on that, but we actually will have no idea until Universe 6 starts airing. But don't expect a massive jump in quality. So this is Gabby, signing out, and I'll see you all next week. Oh no, actually, I'll see you all in two weeks. So, bye guys!